Why do we still care? What are you talking about? Wait, Why wait, do wait. we still care Let, about LeBron James? Let's entertain this. Because we're witnessing somebody who is an, an elder statesman in their industry continue to do things at a high level. Okay. Wait, are you saying why do we still care about Beyonce's music? Yeah, facts. I could tell you for me. That so, music, that music been made for a long time. Pierre, and please take it away now. before I start. So, so this is my this <laughs> is my perspective, right? We're gonna get back oh, to what he shit. just said, but this is my perspective. <laughs> Every time Beyonce drops, she kind of takes on a new form. So I'm kind of interested into like, okay, I wonder what her form is now. Did we all hear the album? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we all heard the album. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, but no, hold on. We just. Where did this start for you? It's, it's, <laughs> like, I'm, is, let's, I'm so confused. Let's literally right delve in because this is not okay. I can't hold it. No, no, I can't hold it. Savon, and I'm not even trying. Savon, to I do not respect your opinion. <laughs> I'm kidding. Join the rest of the internet. I'm kidding. I do. No, no, no. Don't kid. No, it's fine. You don't got respect. I get it. Yeah, I'm kidding. I feel like when you are great and you have the the resources that Beyonce has, it's always going to sound top top quality it's always going to sound pristine it's always going to be you're, you're going to get the best of the best you're going to get the best engineers the best producers okay. the best make you're going to get the best of the best when you're there right yeah that's what i believe oh that's what we know to be true but for whatever reason and again i just spoke about her demographic maybe her de- i'm not a part of her demographic so whatever she's putting out into the world is just going over my head because i'm not really looking for it <laughs> I would nor argue, does it feed me i would argue that her demographic doesn't like all of the pivoting she's done in terms of genres, but mm-hmm. they still support. So I don't think that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I could see that. And again, I'm probably going to get killed for this, but I feel like the music just doesn't, it doesn't seem inspired. Like nothing about her seems inspiring anymore. I was looking at some old Beyonce um, interviews, even her personality. She seems very dis. She, this is just weird. And I feel like we don't acknowledge it. I, I don't even, and as a fan, cause we're just fans, I don't even recognize who she is anymore. From what I was introduced to, from what I had known, and to see where she is today, like it sounds. This it's, shit is mid, and nobody's nah, saying it because it's Beyonce. I, I, it's not I'm mid. Just, I'm just it's, letting it's, it finish. It's, it's not mid because by your definition, you just told me what it takes to make the quality of albums that she makes. I think what I'm hearing from you, bro, is you're kind of disgruntled that she's gone away from R and B music. You miss like her Destiny's Child. Yeah, like is it is it that because which we... is fine if, if because if that was like your favorite Beyonce era, that's fine. But I think it is very, 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 very like you couldn't be more wrong of like she like the music that she's making nowadays is not inspired. I feel like it is the complete opposite. She's more inspired than ever than before. Than ever before. The message is so much deeper. The reason why she's doing Renaissance, the house music, and now the country music, and people think she, the next era is gonna be rock music because. She's literally like throwing it back to like, hey, black people created these genres. Mm-hmm. We're reclaiming it. And I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the biggest people. Like I'm going to put everything I have into these three chapters. So I think like literally the message is stronger than ever. I do think she's very, very inspired. In my, opi- in my opinion. No, and, and you, again, I think uh, maybe uninspired. It, she just doesn't feel genuine anymore. But what, it what just, do you, it just, you think she's just doing it because it just doesn't feel nothing about her feels genuine to me anymore. When okay. did when did things? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. When did things feel genuine? When was do the last see, time? Do y'all see her cover art? Do y'all see yeah. this album art? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a country album. Like, I'm confused. She's, like, she's, like, with she had, black I don't know. Am I missing? Am I she's missing a, a message? You know she's from. Te- <laughs> wait, you know she's from Texas, this, right? Of course, I know she's from Texas. Okay, it, so what's what's confusing you? <laughs> She's on a horse. She's got the flag in her hand. She's defying gravity with how she's sitting on this horse. Oh, my God. Yo. What the fuck that got to do with the <laughs> inspiration of the she music? Looks, she looks like a doll. If you look, she looks like a doll. It doesn't, she doesn't look like mm-hmm. a person. Like, okay, I'm listening. This shit is so manufactured. That's maybe but what it is. But she's always been it's manufactured. Just, no. Okay, that, you know what? Savon, I kind of I kind of see like what you're I okay, I see really what you're saying. Strange. I see. Right, cool. it's so I need really you to speak specifically. And then, and then I, I hate to even be yeah. this person. Oh, just mark this. Oh gosh. Like, bro, she looks like she's her skin is getting lighter. They've spoken oh, about that. Oh my gosh. They've spoken about that. She looks like she's even doing something to change her physical but, appearance but there, in that okay, way like but there are some the cosmetics all it just looks like somebody is painting her and putting her together every day she's coming out like she's robotic robot. kind of it's so yes mean, it's so robotic and manufactured okay. like i'm disconnected from 
what I know her greatness to be. When was the okay. last time she wasn't manufactured to you? And I'll probably. go through, I'll go through the albums for you because oh. I'm really trying to understand where you're coming from. Probably Lemonade. Lemon yeah, I was gonna say because okay. that was her. Starting at lemonade. lemonade or after Lemonade? No, everything Lemonade and before Beyonce. You're like, that's her, that's her. Okay, okay. Everything after Lemonade, I'm like, I who who is this? Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, yeah, it does sound like you don't you don't like the different genres. And it's bro. not even necessarily the genre. The Lion genres. King album was more uh, Afro beat take on things. No, nah, he's talking about her aesthetic too. All of it. I, it's not just the just music. Just everything she's doing. I think it's her. All I right. think it's the presentation. I think it's the the way she shows up. I think it's the way that Hove tried to be a freedom fighter for at the Grammys. At like, the oh, Grammy my conference. woman never won the album. Of the Who gives a fuck? Uh, the, the reason why it's just a little confusing to me is because a ton of money has always been put behind Beyonce. Yeah. Uh, her rollouts have always looked manufactured. Um, she always has a new concept, even when she was making R&B on how she wants to deliver the concept, etc. Now, like I said, the genres have changed over the last few albums, which might, you know, might give credence to what you're saying. Like, yo, things just feel a little bit different. What is it different? But mm -hmm. every all resources have always been put behind her for anything she does. So I'm. The only thing that's changed in me is the genres. Are you saying like maybe a little too calculated and too polished now? I don't know what that means. Which, that's, that's, he, that's her and okay, Jay-Z. You know, you're not wrong, <laughs> but it's because she's literally 40-something right now. Right. She's at the top of her career, the queen with all the resources in the world. She's not literally like, you know, on, on a label trying to prove herself anymore. Like she <laughs> she's in charge. But I, I do see what you're saying, Zayman. Like I was kidding when I said like, oh my God, you're so wrong. Like, but... I don't know. It's just she's very she's at the most polished she's ever been in her career, and I feel like I think, she has to be now. I think Savon might also be talking about he wants to see more from her, right? Like, but what else? Like, 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 else like, 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 like personality. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Seeing her kind of like unmasked, human in a sense, human. Okay, 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 okay. Like, we have a different conversation now. I, I can yeah, see it's, it's, it's all encompassing what no I'm way. speaking to. I, Beyonce has just, never been on her Instagram. Beyonce has I'm not never asking her to be Beyonce on Instagram. has never done a bunch of interviews. I'm just trying to say I want you to speak to a time where she was in our face being natural. Mm -hmm. The Beyonce mm -hmm. I know so, is yo that superstar status. She over there and she pop out when it's time. So you, Alex, you're saying how can <laughs> Savon ask or? Be requesting that if he's never seen it. That's what I'm. No, I, maybe, that's not true maybe she can't anymore because she can't exactly be out here just being human with her family either. It's scary because she's literally the biggest star in the entire world. So like at all times she has to have high security, be locked away in her house. Like it's very isolating. So maybe we can't see that human side of her. But she kind of does let us see it with these documentaries and shit like that. She does let us in. And there are some high level artists where we get this so uh, we get to interact with them on social media, uh -huh. the Drakes of the world, right? She's never been that type of person to that's just true. have all her shit out there. That's why I'm just a little bit confused. That doesn't mean he can't want more. Save on the I just don't. But, but I, what is I, it that again, you have to see? I just think how this yeah. this chapter, this phase, whatever, right. the last however many years, it just seems very manufactured, and it just I I don't I I, I don't recognize it anymore. Like she's a completely different person outside of just like the voice and the you talent. Know Beyonce <laughs> I did. <laughs> and also, judging, you Sasha Fish? Passing, like. judging her that we fell in love with her at like age twenty, and judging her as a mom of three at forty two is not fair. Like she's right. she is a completely different person. Right. But, but what Savon is saying, like a lot of people agree with you because this has pretty much been the biggest critique she gets throughout her career. Like, oh, we don't know it's like you. Too polished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, I've it's never like even too seen strategic. I've it's never like even too polished. It's like that's too, a that's a Virgo too, queen right it's like there. Too perfect. It's, is that it, not how her and Jay Z move? No, Hove. I don't think Hove. I think Hove is a lot more human. I think Hove yeah, presents it, himself to be a lot more human and in touch. But he's with, shown us that before, right? I'm I'm still asking, when was the ever in time when she showed us where she was as human or can be as human as her, her husband nah, has? Nah, I he, haven't seen it. He, I've always known Beyonce to be like, that. yo, I don't hear a peep from Beyonce. Nah, he could. Which, uh -huh. he, Savon could want that without her ever displaying it. Okay, then say that, but don't say something has changed. Because for me, this is how I've always perceived Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I've never. She does, she's never done. Yeah, a fans bunch of have always said this. Like, yo, we don't really know you. Yeah, they've I, always said. If this. there was a time, which is where, valid, like, yeah. If she and, was on IG live before, <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, and then like she stopped interacting with her fans on social mm -hmm. media and things of that nature. I would totally get. It. Didn't wasn't she one of the last ones to the party with a with an Instagram yeah. account? Yeah, and Jay Z, yeah. right? So, and, uh, and it's it's. I think what Savon is also saying, um, you know, similar to what Reggie said, you know, fans out there, uh, her fans out there have said, hey, like, we don't really know you. Mm -hmm. And Savon saying, okay, since that is a fact, like, how does this still work for her? 
Okay. I'm not mad at anyone saying that they would want more uh, out of their artists. Again, we had this conversation when uh, Drake put out his album, though, right? Some artists of a certain magnitude, you're just not going to get certain things out of them, right? It, mm -hmm. Just depending on the how- The magnitude is just too big. It's, like... it's too much to that play for them, right? Like you said, though, things might be too organized mm -hmm. and too detailed, but because things are so detailed, you're not going to get what you want out of them, right? Yeah. So I get that. But what about the album, though? So you don't, you didn't like that? All right, well, let me speak. I think the album was good. Oh, so oh so yeah, like, here we go. <laughs> I, think the album, I think the album was good, but I think two things can be true. I think the yeah, album yeah. can be good, yeah. but I think she as a person can be a robot. Mm -hmm. Well, howdy, I'm putting on my cow boots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 